Hi everyone! In this video I am going to show you how you could create your own 3D reconstruction of any environment of any object by using the 3D Gaussian splatting. It's amazing technique that gives you an opportunity to recreate any surface, any environment, any object in 3D with a high quality in uh, with very easy way. Uh, let's start with the uh, theory of 3D Gaussian splatting and you should to understand only one thing. Uh, what is the main object in the Gaussian splatting? Uh, here is the main paper of describing the methods, uh, but the main thing that is we could understand is what is uh, uh, this is 3D Gaussians. Uh, imagine a simple 2D image. The main object is a pixel because it characterizes the color and the position of uh, uh, the position of the pixel and the, its color describes the image. But here uh, we have a 3D Gaussian is a special pixel and 3D that contains an information about the points of position of the points and the color and the distribution of the color in this particular point that helps us to represent a object, a, any surface in 3D. Okay. To start working with the Gaussian splatting, we are go we are going to uh, open the GitHub repository of the Gaussian splatting here, and just to copy it with the uh, recursive pine with the git clone and the with the rec in the recursive mode. Uh, I have already done this in my PyCharm. I created the uh, virtual environment not to mesh everything, and uh, after cloning, uh, uh, you will receive the folder. And uh, not forget to install in the folder sub modulus. It's important to is install with the pip all these three modulus. Like uh, you should uh, define the uh, pip install, then sub modulus, and uh, define the modulus and do the all three installing. It's very important. Uh, the next important thing we are going to uh, we need to open the um, convert.py function and check the parameter with the camera is better it's uh, standard it's open cv camera but we are going to use the pinhole camera because it's uh, uh, i done my, all the captures by my smartphone and uh, uh, only with the pinhole parameter it, it will go into work and detect all key points and uh, uh, match them correctly okay the next way is to make a uh, several videos like this and extract uh, the images. And here I have a simple script to extract each, for example, five frames from the video to create a special uh, small database like here. Uh, here in the, we have a small, to create a special database like here. We have already like uh, all 360 images one by one and it's uh, 200 images okay and now uh, we are ready to start first i created a special data folder i put here like three objects and one it's like a bonus that i will show in the end it's a special reconstruction that will uh, surprise you very much and further it's like gar gamepad and ways and first of all, you need to create a, one extra folder like and call it call it input, and put all your frames in the input input folder. And only in this way it will work. Not forget to install everything from that is that is ne necessary uh, to use the 3D Gaussian splatting like PyTorch 3D, Torch with CUDA, and everything. And now we are starting to do the first part is we need to convert images and to make an undistorted images and create and uh, do the matching and key point detection uh, for each images. To do this, we just need to run Python, then convert.py and define the source by key S and go to the our folder is data and then to choose our folder with the, uh, with the images and run the script. Here we can see that the, it's open each script, process it and extract feature extraction and then it start match block. It takes some time so we, are, we need to wait.
Okay, you can see it's done. It's the first part. We, we, we could check the folder. Now our folder is full of next folder. It's sparse. It is very important folder. It contains an information about the camera position, images type and point 3D in 3D. And uh, uh, it's optional, but I, I have also installed the call map visualization to, and we could open it with the input model just to check the camera position and how it looks like, because it should be like something like 360 a rotation. So let's go to the main folder here and open spot and zero, select folder. Okay, here you can see Okay, I will make it a bit smaller. Here is a tractor of my moving and we have a figure in the center based on the, our key point. So you see, it's already quite accurate, but we will go to create a real Gaussian splatting reconstruction. So let's come back to the, our main folder, back here. Okay, so next part, what should we do? We should to train our Gaussian splat model to create Gaussian splat in 3D. We should to define our source uh, folder and then to define the output folder. It should be in the same. It could be in the same. You could choose uh, any folder, but I prefer it like this because it's easier to uh, then to find it and to do next iteration. Like output. And I prefer like 7,000 iteration because it's uh, it, it's better, it's quite fast, uh, and the accuracy is quite high. So let's start. Yeah, here is the progress bar and the time, and as you see, we, are, we need to wait again. Okay, finally it is done and uh, all iteration done. We have the 100% proce process and uh, let's check our results. In, the, in our folder, in the output folder, then point cloud, iteration 7000 and finally point cloud PLY. With the, we could open it, for example, with the mesh lab. And here we have all the points, it is nearly three hundred thousand points it's quite measured but in if we like zoom a little bit we will see something like a figure inside here's a very slight contrast but this is only points but remember i say that is gaussian is not not only points it's also a descriptor of the colors and distribution of the color in the space so we need something to visualize it and I would like to recommend you uh, one website, it's a super splite, it's a free website to visualize Gaussian splatting. And here it is, you just need to put this thing and then open and find your PLY file after all iterations. So let's open it, it's here, and when we open we see all the points but also with the uh, not only the points, but also a color distribution. So here in the parameter, we could move the size of the points. And if we move it to the zero, our figure appear here. And the good thing here is that we could also not only visualize, but also a little bit to edit. So I would like to remove all these noisy parts, for example, like with this big brush just to delete them then i'm going to crop it a little bit and also remove all this part okay i removed uh, almost all noisy points there is some of them but it's not, not a problem if like with more time i could remove all of them and now if we remove the points we can see a very very detailed reconstruction of the toy with some blurry points but yeah if you work like harder and remove uh, like these points and uh, yeah, like here it will be better yeah obviously but it's already like super detailed 
reconstruction of the toy. And after this, you already could save it and use it for the blender, for other application, because you have an accurate reconstruction of uh, the toy. But, for example, you would like to use it for to share with your friends. So, the, the option is, we need to save this file. Uh, we need to save the PLY file from here. And the next website that I would like to recommend, it's a Spline, where you could like simply log in into it. It's also a free and import the Gaussian Splat PLY. Finally found our model and open it. And here, the, the, the folder, the image is here. But only thing that we need just to export it generate a public URL that we could like we would we could copy it and then like past you could share this link to the your project and here is and everybody could open it and I don't know you could uh, add it to the, your web portfolio to the website and here is the reconstruction that you could share with anybody okay also in the super splat, I would like to share some other reconstructions. For example, mm, for example, here the reconstruction that I, I prepared before. Here is like a gamepad reconstruction, not so detailed, but like it has some like it's more homogeneous color. It is also we see the details and also a vase that has a, a lot of like it's very reflectable surface. So the quality is lower, but still we could see the main the main details and all like the structure. And finally, uh, during preparing to this video, I was thinking that what could I do the bigger than something from my the things from my house? I would like to do something really big. And then I found this amazing video of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. And I decided to create a reconstruction of this R. So I take this video, then I segment, I choose a uh, old photo as before, and do the several hundreds of photo of from this video, and finally create the reconstruction. And here you could see how it is look like. So, and here the result. So you could see the reconstruction of the real object. It is very detailed, very detailed with all buildings, with the car, and even some trees are in the form. So we could rotate it and see. And here you could see how like it's completely reconstructed 3D, really big building. We could see, we could watch it and see the details. See the car, the object here, and it's amazing. So it's a really big object, and we could watch it. Of course, there is some blurry point, but it's not a, in the, our main focus area. Okay, so finally, in this video, you have checked how the 3D Gaussian splatting works, and uh, now you know that this technology is super powerful, and for me, it was very important to uh to research in this field and to try many techniques to have this knowledge so i hope i showed to you how it's powerful and how to use it in your project for your portfolio how it's revolutionized the 3d world and for the uh, vr ar and for many other applications so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you in the next one bye